Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Very windy day today. Uh, this is what we got going on today. <laughs> this is what we got going on today. Still burning out the stump. Look how deep that hole is. I don't know if you can tell, but. So it's about down to where I want it to be. I threw some wood on there, and with this wind, it kicked right up. I got a little piece there. It needs to be burned off there, and a tiny one there. I just want it. It don't all have to come out. I just want it enough to where I can run over it with the lawnmower, and that'd be good. But it looks like this is what we're getting into today. Monkey had to drop off some packages to be delivered or to get shipped out. See that? That's an oil. Fresh oil. So. When she gets back, we're going to see if we can find that oil leak. The truck was backed in, so that's looking like hopefully a front seal. Well, I hope it's not a seal, but if it is a seal, I'm hoping it'd be the front seal because the rear seal is a pain in the ass. Uh, front one's not too bad. Could be something else, but... I don't think it's transmission fluid, though it could be a line maybe. But when she gets back, we're going to check this out and see what we can come up with, see what it, what the issue is with that. We can't be having an oil leak because that thing never leaked oil until, well now you can see, that's the only oil stain on this. Um, these little stains here or from her dad's truck when we had her dad's truck out here that's what those are for or from this is definitely fresh so it's just happened so I'll kick you back on when she gets back I'll have her pull it in so we're kind of over here in the shade a little bit because it's still it's windy as hell but man it's hot as hell out here so I'll have her pull in we'll raise the hood See what we can find out. All right, guys, I'm back. Monkey's back. So yeah, it's uh, it's about a quart low. This thing don't burn any oil because you guys seen it. It don't smoke or anything. Uh, it will use a quart. Um. I don't know, probably about every 5,000 miles. I know, you should change it every 3,000. Yeah, we should. But sometimes it don't get changed on the 3,000 mark. But Okay, so what I'm looking at here. Okay. I'm looking at this. I don't think it's that. Awful lot of oil up in here. I don't know if I can get you. Right up in here is the front seal. Okay, the back of the engine's pretty dry, but right up, right up in there, right behind that pulley is the front seal. Okay. Uh, and that is pretty wet. Um, but where is it dripping off of? Because that looked like a drip back there. Because, see, it's leaking up here somewhere. I'm guessing that front seal's leaking, and it's blowing. It could be the pan gasket, but... And, of course, it's blowing back that way. Back to the back of the engine. Um, yeah, it looks pretty wet. What I'm probably going to have to do, I'm guessing it's that front seal. That'd be my guess. And then, of course, it's just all blowing back, and you know, when you're driving it. Um, I'm guessing it's, it'd be that front seal. Um, it's not that big of a deal. 
and you know the fan is blowing it back but anyway what I'm gonna have to probably do is get some de engine degreaser degrease the hell out of it uh, hose it off real good and find out I don't think it's this I mean it could be but I don't think it's that because this down here ain't gonna blow up there because that fans blowing back it's not sucking forward so uh, yeah that's the wettest the wettest spot so I am guessing oh wait a minute Oh yeah, you see that? See that drip on the bottom of that? That's the oil filter. Now there's a drip over there, but that's because she had the air on. You know what? Let me get a rag, and we're going to see if we can tighten that filter up. That could be the drip. I'm not saying this is not leaking. I know it's leaking up here, but it looks to me... I mean, it could be blown back there, but it looks to me that's kind of up out of the way. Uh, okay, let me get a rag. Let's wipe that off. And um, see if it's loose. Hang tight. Hey right, guys. There we go. Um, I don't... I, shit, let me see if I can get my hand up in here. I, I usually go up in through the front way up here, but that'll go, that's going to be getting in your way. So, but, shit. Guys, I'm just going to have to move you out of the way for a second. I'm sorry. But, I just got to get up in here. Oh, yeah. That filter was loose. That may have been the issue. I'm not see it's it is leaking up here, but yeah, that filter it's hot. Yeah, that filter was loose. Let me get up in here and get a good bite on it. Uh, hate greasy engines, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that filter didn't stay tight. That's STP. I've had that problem with these before, guys. I'm sorry for you STP lovers, but... I had one come loose three times on my Suburban. And I changed it every 3,000 miles. And uh, I had it come come loose three times which is approximately about every thousand miles so let me zoom you in there a little bit so I think that was the issue but again sorry you look up my ah, shit you look up in there it's wet so I think I, I will put that on my list to do here pretty soon because it's not that hard to do and it's not expensive but you know we are going to need a little extra money to do that um, I'll have to pull I have to pull that front pulley off which is also known as a harmonic balancer or crank pulley I'll have to pull that off to change that I think I you know I mean I don't think that that was where the drip was coming from because that filter was loose uh, and I don't think it was all coming from here so I think we found the issue let's start it up and let it run a minute and we'll see <laughs> and I'll see if it leaks okay so I hear Bruno barking. I don't know what he's barking at. I've got to close the garage door. Because he'll get through the man door and come out the garage. I was out here working one day and I forgot to close that door. And uh, the inside door, the man door. And he come out. I was out here doing something. 
scared the hell out of him. He started sniffing on me. He's like, what the fuck? It was just Bruno. Damn. I don't know if you guys can see that. Four hundred ninety-seven thousand five hundred seventy-six. Bitch is still going. I am going to have to uh, replace the fuel pump. I do believe it's still under warranty because uh, it's losing its prime. But as you see, once you start it, see it just kind of got to prime itself every time. Once you start it, it's fine, but, you know, uh, yeah, it needs cleaned up bad. But, uh, yeah, once you start it, it's fine. It's just, you know, it's a pain in the ass. I hate that when it, you know, the truck always starts for its crank. What it does is when you crank it, it puts fuel up into the system, and then when you stop cranking and start again, it hits the pump again and then fires your injectors. So, all right, I'm going to let it run for a few minutes. We'll check that filter and make sure it's not leaking. Okay, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. That thing is quiet. That is a quiet running engine. All right, let's check. see if that was the issue now where we wiped it off that filter should be nice and blue and it should not be wet <coughs> looking good here let me turn this on turn the light on yeah that's what it was um, like I said it's still got a front seal seeping um, like I said, that's no big deal. We'll get that fixed. Uh, we'll, we'll do that together too. That's why it's blowing it back, but that's where that drip was coming from. Was that filter. So, when I do it, oil we'll change again. We'll, uh, we'll change the filter. And we'll change the, uh, the, um, seal at the same time. So we'll change the oil filter and seal at the same time. We'll get it all cleaned up. And that should take care of it. So there you go, guys. That's kind of what you want to look for when you're looking for a leak. Um, but like I was telling you, I was getting ready to tell you that, uh, you know, I'd have to uh, clean it all off run it a couple days and look for leaks and I was going to tell you to look for leaks around the filter and that's when I was getting ready to take you point you back there when I seen it that's why I was like oh okay look here we go so you know check them check just check everything any any place that's wet is a potential leak or is leaking like front seal yes it, it is it is a slight leak so thing's probably not burning any oil at all it's probably just seeping out of that front seal because it doesn't go through hardly any oil for half a million miles this is the original engine it's never been rebuilt um, she's the second owner of this truck so the main thing the big items we we've, we've had to replace was the radiator we had to replace um, the alternator there was something else. The rest of it was just maintenance. Mm. There was something else we had to replace. I mean, other than like the lock, the locks, we replaced the door locks, the door handles, the ignition. Because the ignition, you've seen the key was just, just worn out. Didn't want to work anymore. So, um, I mean, that's going to happen after half a million miles. Uh, let me see, what else did we change? I don't know. Uh, I thought there was something else that I considered because it was the radiator, the alternator, 
It's never had a starter put on it. Um, it's never had the air conditioner worked on. It's never had the water pump replaced. It's never had the power steering pump replaced. It's never had any work done on a rack and pinion. But yeah, that, oh, and fuel pump. Yeah, the fuel pump. Uh, I think I consider those kind of like major deals that are more than just minor maintenance or upkeep maintenance like spark plugs, coil packs, because these don't have plug wires. They just got what, what they're called a boot down on it. I've replaced the coils a couple times. Um, spark plugs. Well, the three of the the number one spark plug though, it's lodged in there, it's cross threaded or something, it does not want to come out. So that's going to be one of the things we'll have to have when she gets another vehicle. Then I'll go ahead and try to get it out and that way if it breaks, then I got time to pull the head because I'll have to pull the head and drill it out and all that. Um, but so until then, you know, that's like a weekend job and I don't want to be pressured to have to do this and all that, you know, so um but yeah any other issues brakes i do brakes once a year on it we go through tires once a year because you know she puts a lot of miles on it um i did change the belts and uh one time i don't know if i did a video on it or not but i think two of the belts i saved one it still has toyota on it so they were the original belts two of them was uh, what else? It's been a good truck for her, you know. I mean, like I said, stupid stuff. You know, like when I replaced the bulbs in here, the clips broke for these. So they're taped in, you know. They get, this one needs re-taped. Uh, the plastic, they're just plastic clips and they break. You know, the heat, especially down here in Florida. Uh, I need to redo the headlights again, get them cleaned up again. But, um, yeah, other than that, everything works. Uh, it does have a headlight out. This headlight's out on low beam. So we got to get a headlight. It's 40 fucking dollars. It's ridiculous. So I'll have to order one online. Um, other than being dirty. But, yeah, when we do that, I'll go ahead and clean this all off real good before we even start on it. I'll degrease the hell out of it. I'll show you how to quickly detail, you know, the hood compartment. Um, it's never been cleaned under here and I've kind of neglected it but uh, yeah that's yeah, pretty good so there you go that's that's it in a nutshell we found it we took care of it we did find another leak ish uh, front seal is leaking um, but it must have been like that for a while, but that's not saying it's not getting worse because it will get worse. If it's leaking, it'll just keep leaking and it'll keep getting worse. So um, that's probably like a 10 or $15 fix. We'll go ahead and change the oil, put a new filter on it. I'm not going with another STP. Uh, when I had my shop up in Ohio, uh, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of that, the STP oil filters coming loose. Um, Everybody's saying, well, you know, that's because you're not tightening them up enough. Well, you're only supposed to put them on hand tight. And some guys, yeah, are stronger than other guys, whatnot. But they actually get tighter, or supposed to. But I have had trouble with STP oil filters in the past coming loose. Um, I'm not the only one that has said that. Um, one of my friends worked in an oil lube place. You know, one of those 20 minute lubes or 10 minute lubes or whatever. And he said he had seen a lot of, he said at 9 out of 10 STP oil filters that he replaced was loose when he took them off and leaking. So I'm not the only one that's had the issue. If you guys have had that issue too, let us know in the comments below. I do not know why. I'm sure someone's got a hold of them. They have not corrected the issue. Um, I've used cheap filters, $3 filters and man they stay tight and don't leak um, so anyway guys I'm rambling now so long story short you're a bit late for that that's how you check for an oil leak <laughs> so all right uh, Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now <laughs> you guys uh, have a great week okay I uh, hope y'all had a great weekend and a happy Easter and we'll chat at you soon bye bye guys and take care